littered with safety car uh, intervention. Pretty much from the get-go, at the rolling start, Aaron Seaton, who qualified from pole position, and George Miedeke, who had to repair that car after an early qualifying shot. We'll get to that as well soon. They were flying through the centre chicane, but it was the staircase section that brought them undone. Yeah, Aaron Seaton was pretty strong early on, and he was able to get down the inside of George on the run through the centre chicane, but on the opening lap, we got up through the staircase, turn five, six, seven. Unfortunately, six was no good for Mediki, and he ended up in the fence. Now, it looked awkward to me. There was there was too much going on, and I know you've got more information on that, but unfortunately for Cameron Crick, he was involved as well, and quite a bit of damage to the front of his car. Puts those guys to the back of the field. It was the brakes were the issue for the seven. They wouldn't release when he was trying to turn into the top of turn number six. Nathan Hearn was up to second position, but then the tail shaft decided to go. Jimmy Vernon didn't make it out of turn number seven. He would limp the Sky Sands entry back to the pits, but dropped right out of contention. They really had issues negotiating turn seven for a lot of the field, and that would ultimately end Nathan Hearn's run. The front of the tail shaft snapping at the bottom of the Kettleville Terrace and bringing his car to a stop. Aaron Seaton, he was unstoppable, winning that race by a handy margin. Last year's series winner, pole position and race one winner in yesterday's Trans Am Series opener at the Superloop Adelaide 500. Race number two is not too far away. The grid's based on the overall results from yesterday. We had an incident during qualifying yesterday for Craig Dontis and George Medici. Chad Nalon's down in the pits. It was a big night for the Dontis team to repair. Looking forward to seeing those guys charge through the pack. Not many laps to get the job done. And again, Chad Nalon gets the best race to stand down in pit lane from. He was jumping in the pit to be down there yesterday. Here's what we were talking about just before. Dontis passed in the middle of the road and George Biedeke straight down the middle slams into the Pioneer sponsored car of Dantas. He didn't make it out for the race. They repaired that car overnight but a big shunt. Quite a lot of damage to the Mediki car and hey mate I'm actually really worried about Chad standing down there because